Hi guys, welcome back to another thrilling episode of the HC2 Resilience Challenge. I am your host, Coach Danny, and today we're gonna be talking about day two of our challenge for Tuesday, March 24th, 2020. So hopefully you guys are kind of familiar with the True Coach platform as of now. You'll notice that everything that's listed in there, we've tried to link videos to so that you can see what it is. Um, and kind of get an idea of what you should be doing or how it should look. So for our warm up, we're going to be doing two to three rounds. Um, you're gonna start with nine squat jumps, six inchworms, three bird dogs, one crab bridge, and then eight to 12 hollow rocks, okay? Um, from there, today, we do have some shoulder work involved. And I know um, that on Monday for day one, we did a lot of um, push-up work and we held in the plank a little bit, so your shoulders might be feeling a little bit sore. So I want you to make sure after your warm up, do some mobility for your shoulders, whether it be arm circles, whether you go ahead and find like a wall or something to grab onto and just kind of stretch out. Um, if you have resistance bands, those will be good as well. Just kind of make sure your shoulders are adequately warmed up before you move forward, okay? From there, we're gonna work on some skill work, um, including our handstands. So everybody's gonna be at a little bit of a different progression for handstands. So I'm gonna show you a few examples of things that you can do or try, um, but it's just basically skill work. You're not gonna be holding until you fall, nothing like that, okay? It's just kind of practicing the skill itself. So um, we're gonna be working on working up to a full-on handstand. So what that means, we have a few options. Um, you can start in basically a downward dog position where your hands and your feet are both on the ground. Let's go ahead and get a side view here. So I'm gonna put my hands on the floor, my feet are gonna be up back behind me and I'm gonna try and send my head through my arms and just kind of hang out here, okay? Another option would be to get my legs up on a wall, head all the way through and hold in that position, okay? So it'd be a little more advanced if you get your feet up onto the wall and then you wanna try and stack your hips right over your shoulders, okay? If that feels easy to you and you're not really afraid to get upside down, then you can raise your feet onto like a box or a platform. Um, you can also use this instead of putting your feet up on the wall. But so I put my hands on the ground first, always first, hands down, then feet up on the bench, and then we're gonna hold in that position. Okay, try and get your hands to be right underneath your shoulders. So you might have to wiggle like I did. And there. From that point would be kind of kicking up to a wall and holding in a handstand position. Okay, so hands down on the ground first. Try not to dive into it, but rather put your hands on the floor first and then kick up. Ta-da! <laughs> all right guys so um, basically all I'm gonna ask you to do is uh, is um, you know get in the position hold it for a little bit don't go until you completely are at failure um, just hang out there try and get your head all the way through your shoulders think about getting your body stacked and staying nice and tight through your core <laughs> from there we're gonna move on to a workout called the chief now this workout is typically a hero workout which means that it's in honor of heroes that have passed away. Um, now this one is dedicated specifically to chiefs, which is a super important position. Um, so what we're looking at here is five cycles of three minute rounds with one minute of rest in between. So you're gonna work for three minutes, rest one minute. Work for three minutes, rest one minute. Five total times, okay? So the workout as written is power cleans first with a barbell, then it goes into push-ups and air squats. So if you have a barbell, awesome, use it. If you're used to doing power cleans, you know how to move with it, we encourage you to. If you've never done a power clean before, we're gonna ask you to take it down to the simplest variation of this movement, which is going to just be a broad jump, right? So essentially what we're doing is we're looking for a four foot distance for the ladies and a five foot distance for the men. So we just want a nice big hip explosion. We have a pretty like, crappy deck back here, so I'm afraid that I'm gonna go right through it, but we'll find out. So you're gonna send your hips back and your arms back. You're gonna jump and extend from the hip and then pick your feet up to land kind of like mid foot, okay? And stand, then turn around and jump back, okay? If you have dumbbells but not a barbell, we're gonna use dumbbells. So you can choose to use one if you only have one or both if you have two, but the movement, starts from the hang position, okay? You're gonna bend your knees, shoulders back in power position, and then we jump shrug to catch it on our shoulders. Here, 
stand and reset. Jump, shrug, catch, stand and reset. If you're using one dumbbell, you're gonna do six per arm, however you'd like to do it. So you can break it up however you desire. If you're using two, you're only gonna do six of them. So from here, jump, stand and reset, okay? Sound good? Then we go into um, six push-ups. You can modify these using a wall, countertop, chair, table, bench, etc. Um, or you can do them on the floor. All I ask is that we avoid sort of the snake motion that goes along with it once we get tired, right? So we don't want to come down nice and easy and then sneak up. Right? I'd always rather see you keep your body in a nice straight line, so raising where you're putting your hands so that you can be in that plank position rather than using the floor on your knees or in a snake. Okay. Then from there, we go into our nine air squats. Oh, that's it. Okay. Um, after day one, if you completed that workout, this might be a little rough on your shoulders and your legs, so pace accordingly. Okay, I suggest trying to keep the reps themselves unbroken. So get your power cleans done, then transition. Get all your push-ups done, then transition. Get all your air squats done, and then go from there, okay? At the end of the three minutes, you're gonna rest one minute, and then you're gonna start again, picking up where you left off in your last round. So if you had completed four push-ups in a certain round, and then the rest came, you're gonna do push-up five and six, and then go to your air squats to continue on, okay? All right, guys, so <coughs> basically, just make sure that you're hitting full range of motion on your movements. Don't rush it and get sloppy. I'd rather you move safely and smartly and just kind of keep carrying on through it, okay? It's a little bit of a long one, so we wanna make sure that we're pacing ourselves properly, and if you have any questions, reach out to your coach. Thanks.